Hello, love. Welcome to your soul support message. These messages are intended for the highest and greatest good of the Elsh Collective. They are timely, yet timeless. So whenever you find them or they find you, there is a message for you in this, okay? All right, I'm going to get right into it. This is, um, this is specific to getting stuck in what I heard as loops of consciousness. Loops of consciousness. So another way to describe this is patterns, right? Ways that we behave. The loops that we get stuck in behaviorally, right? Connecting directly to source for this message, okay? So this is a really broad experience for each and every one of us here on Mama Gaia, here going through the human experience, right? These loops of consciousness that we get stuck in. And I was shown a lemniscate, a figure eight, the infinity symbol. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? This is the other aspect of the Lemnus Gate. Because remember, everything is on a spectrum, right? Where we can get stuck in a cycle. And then I was shown the Strength card and immediately directed to the Solar Plexus Chakra Energy Center. And quickly, it kind of all came together with this energy of the Solar Plexus being connected to getting stuck in these loops of consciousness, meaning that it is directly related to willpower. And what I heard was you not getting out of a loop in consciousness is essentially you not exercising your willpower. You, for some reason I'm being directed here, especially to victimhood consciousness. And the energy of the tiger, the energy of the tiger spirit coming through this reading as well. I was also shown a desert. Um, this idea, the elemental energy of fire and earth, taking the inner spark, passion, inspiration, fire that you have within you, and practically, physically exerting that into the 3D plane that you are here on, that you came here to do work on, right? Um, so essentially, you could kind of say that this is sort of where we get blocked, when we get where we get blocked at the at the solar plexus center, okay? Um, where we get blocked in terms of not being able to pull ourselves out of a loop of consciousness. And the reason why I was shown the strength card was because it takes strength and willpower to do that. Now, the imagery of the strength card in the Rider Waite Smith slash Pamela's Genius deck is you see that the woman is very gently taming this beast, right? this beast of a lion. You could almost see, you could almost say that the beast is those loops in consciousness and your higher self or your awareness, your own consciousness, being aware of where these loops in consciousness are taking place. The more we try and forcefully pull ourselves out of these things, the harder it is. The idea here is that we don't want to create a form of a resistance we're not coming from the vantage point of fighting it. We're coming from a place of inner strength, of coming back into alignment essentially with your inner fire, you, your identity, your inner willpower. Sometimes to simply say no to repeating it not fighting it, not being like, oh, here I go again, here I go again, back in this loop, back in this loop, but simply observing it and going, no, I'm not participating in that, not anymore. At this point, I know better, 
right? Okay, so I'm going to get into the cards I'm asking through John Holland's Psychic Tarot Oracle deck again. And I'm also being directed to give you some crystals to work with. Amber and Citrine, okay? The warmth, what, what Source is directing me here to is their ability to stoke the inner fire. They're very associated with solar energy. And this is that energy of stoking that inner fire, right? That comes through in that strength card. And I'm going to leave it at that. If you're interested in finding out more about those crystals, you can, there's so many different resources um, that you can find for that. And again, always be discerning, right? You always want to follow your intuition and what works for you with that. That seems like it wanted to come out. Okay. And for some reason, this one wanted to pop out, so I'm going to pull that out. Rest and Rejuvenation, or Rest and Rejuvenate, I should say. That is the four of the mental body, okay? So right here, a very, very quick nod to the fact that it goes back to this place of stillness, back to this place of like, no, I'm not going to participate in this anymore. This is also a nod to being aware, mentally aware, um, from a very grounded place, right? Because four is that number of foundations. Four is also, interestingly enough, this just kind of came across my radar recently, um, four is a number of transformation. When you think of the four elements, when you think of the seasons, the, the number of change, uh, the death card, 13 reduces to a four, right? In the tarot, okay. So ways that we can, without fighting it, free ourselves from these loops of consciousness. Okay. We've got another four coming out here. Interesting. Okay. So we have the throat chakra coming out at the bottom of the deck. We have discontent and boredom. This is the four of cups or the four of the emotional body. And then we've got heartache and loss with the three of swords or the three of the mental body. So this is a very um, quick little nod to having to reflect with the rest and rejuvenate, having to reflect on both of these situations. Now four and three together reduce that adds up, I should say to a seven. That's the energy of going deeper. So where in your discontent and boredom are you actually, actually, let me rephrase that. Your loops in consciousness are feeding your discontent and boredom and your loops in consciousness are feeding your heartache and loss. So this is a nod to these specific types of experiences discontent, boredom, feeling loss, feeling heartache as loops in consciousness that you continue to feed. This is really difficult to describe. It's like, okay, these are prime examples, very basic examples in the human experience of where we have loops and consciousness, loops in consciousness, okay? So what I'm being directed simply to do here is to really ask you to meditate on these two images and feel the energy of what it me what it feels to be stuck in these two experiences. And when you contrast that with the rest and rejuvenate, Actually, I like, I'm going to put them this way. You are meditating and becoming more aware of the idea of non-attachment here to these cycles. I'm not going to lie, this takes a lot of work, right? For, especially if you're someone who, especially as an empath, if you're very stuck in the emotional experiences, okay? Um, it's a challenge, but it's essential if you choose to do so, because we do live in a free will 
multiverse, right? Um, it's entirely your choice. You know, the throat chakra coming out here, the throat chakra is about expression, right? And there's something here nodding to, again, saying no, using the power of your words, using the power of sound even, if that resonates for you, some kind of sound healing perhaps. I'm being directed again to the solar plexus chakra or that energy center, maybe something to do with sound healing with that. There are so many resources that you can find online for that. Again, use your discernment, right? Um, oh, and oh, Spirit just reminding me, I did hear two songs. I heard Darude's Sandstorm come through and I heard um, played a live, is it called the Bongo Song? I'm gonna link them in the description box below. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Thank you, Archangel Sandalphon, for reminding me of that too, yeah. So there is something here about speaking it out loud and also a connection between, so the throat chakra is connected to sound, right? And there's something also about hearing and listening to certain sounds and even music, which is why those two songs came through. And then even dancing or moving connected to the solar plexus. Again, the solar plexus and the throat are very much about expression, right? In the identity sense, in, in speaking your truth, okay? In speaking your authentic self and simply saying, no, like I'm not participating in this anymore. Yeah, so the moment that, he's directing me to hold this up again. Okay, so rest and rejuvenate, reflect upon this, get grounded to understand it's a really, really simple thing. It's not complicated. It's about reflecting on these things and, and practicing that non-attachment. And the simple act of sitting down and meditating and reflecting on it is an act of will. That is you exercising. That is the first little step to you exercising your willpower in order to get out of a loop of consciousness that you may be in related to one of these things, right? Or to both, okay? That's it. I thank you so much for being here. Thank you to Source. Thank you to Archangel Sandalphon for coming through for these messages. I will link those songs below so you can have a listen to them. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh yeah, and there is some more to remember going back to this is a this is obviously an amber bracelet that I've got here I've got my amber ring on as well and citrine working with these crystals can also be very helpful with that okay in love and liberation I'm sending you so much love wherever you are thank you for being here and thank you for liking these videos sharing them with people you know who they will resonate with of course and thank you for subscribing and being a part of this community